Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to film getting ready and going to a restaurant opening. If you guys watch any of my Italy vlogs, I went to Italy um, almost a year ago in November last year. We stayed in Tuscany for the most part, but we actually just went with um, two local, they're both chefs. The one, the woman is a pastry chef and her husband is like an actual chef and they both work in Philly and then they started kind of like a travel company and where they take groups to Italy because they have been there so many times and they travel there all the time so they really know Italy very well so they just take like smaller groups of people my mom actually met them because they used to do um, cooking classes in their house they live in South Philly and they would do cooking classes just at their house uh, you would come with a group of people bring around wine and they kind of provide the food and you make it with them and then get to eat it which is really fun my mom did it with her sisters and then um, after talking with them and they t informed her about the trip she really wanted to go back to Italy she's already been my mom and she went with a bunch of her sisters and her uh, mom so we wanted to get a small little group to go together so me both my sisters my mom my aunt and my cousin all went with Joe and Angela and now they actually are opening up a, a restaurant in the city uh, in downtown Philly it's right across the street from the Met is actually in the old Divine Lorraine Hotel um, so it's called Chocala at DL the Divine Lorraine the Divine Lorraine used to be a really popular hotel back in the day but it was closed and I think it, it turned into like somewhat of apartments or maybe like projects um, but now the area is kind of coming back and they're trying to like redo that area they reopened the DL and I think they're trying to get some like restaurants and just a new bunch of new like stores and cute little things in there um, because the Met which is a concert venue just reopened across the street so that whole area they're kind of trying to get back up and running so they invited us it actually doesn't open until this Friday um, but they invited us for like a family and friends opening a soft opening so we're really really excited I've heard the inside is beautiful I know they've been working so hard on it when we went with them to Italy they were like had, had been working on it for a really long time I think it's southern Italian food or northern Italian food I forget <clears throat> but it's either southern or northern food I will clarify later a lot of I think fish and probably stuff that I don't eat but I'm so really excited I'm just excited to see the place and see the decor I will definitely bring you guys along and show you I can't wait um, I will give you guys a little review of how the food was I'm sure it'll be great just from our trip with them the stuff that they cooked was so good Joe is an amazing cook but we had such a great time when we were in Italy I will leave all those vlogs listed in the description box if you guys want to check them out I think I did like four four or so vlogs we had such a fun time we stayed in and around Tuscany it was the trip of a lifetime I think they still do their travel it's not a travel agency but their little um like travel group uh, I think they do it a few times a year. So I will also leave that um, listed in the description box if you guys want to check that out. So I'm going to start getting ready. It's really cold. It's actually like the coldest day of the year so far. It's freezing. I've been so cold all day at work. I just wore this sweater at work and like a different shirt. Um, I really wanted to wear this necklace. This is a necklace I got in Italy just at one of like the little Christmas markets. It's so pretty. The lady handmade them. She had all these really beautiful little things. This is a butterfly because I'm obsessed with butterflies. So I really wanted to wear it or I got this, um, it's this cross. There's really beautiful detailing as you can see. It's all like rainbow. It's like little mosaics in there. And I actually got that in the Pity Palace in, in uh, Florence, which is amazing. So I'm either gonna wear this cross or this. I kind of feel like a school teacher right now, but it's cold and I really wanted to wear one of these necklaces just for some nostalgia for our Italy trip. So I'm gonna start getting ready. As you can tell, I already had my makeup done for work. If you can tell, it's been on since 6 a.m. and it is currently 5.13. So I'm gonna just start redoing my makeup, just kind of touching up. Um, I didn't really wear that much makeup today. And I think I might curl the front piece of my hair and I will show you guys my outfit when we're done. And I, of course, have some wine to pregame a little bit. Um, I think we're just gonna take an Uber down. It's not too far from my house though. It's only probably like 25 minutes. I know in their restaurant they have a lot of like personal families. Um, not like I guess like heirlooms almost. And stuff passed down from both of their sides of the family. 
um so i'm really also excited to see that i think the whole experience is just going to be really very authentic it's definitely not like one of the biggest things that i was surprised about in italy is like we're so used to i am italian but we're so used to like the americanized italian food um like you know your normal pasta and meatballs and stuff like that and in italy it was just, like totally different all the food there i mean we were in um tuscany so i can't speak for all of italy but there was just a lot of different foods a lot of like boar like wild boar was very popular um a lot of like mushroom kind of uh what's that um truffles a lot of stuff like that um really not a lot like i didn't i just wanted a piece of chicken the whole time couldn't find a piece of chicken yeah like a lot of pork and stuff like that so and uh, lots of fish which i was kind of surprised by but i did like the food i just i guess it wasn't what i was expecting so i think that this is going to be kind of similar i know that they're doing really authentic so it's not going to be like your normal um like italian restaurant here it's going to be like authentic italian cuisine which i know a lot of people will love okay so i just put my hair a little bit higher because it is like a turtleneck i didn't want it to be too low i was really starting to feel like a librarian and then i just like kind of um waved the front pieces instead of having them straight which i think so it looks a little bit cuter i was like rushing to get ready but my one sister isn't even home yet my other sister just got home and took a shower and my mom's not home yet either so i guess i have some time i've been using this um egyptian magic all-purpose skin cream i've been using it as an eye eye cream at night i really like it um i put it on my cuticles sometimes and this is like really you can use it for anything so i and i actually read online that this makes for a good um base to put underneath your liquid lips so i'm going to try that out tonight okay so this is my outfit i just have this chunky beige sweater i just wore this to work today it's really really cozy so i wanted to wear it again tonight i think i got this at tj maxx this turtleneck is from forever 21 i just tucked it into my jeans these are from um i want to say h m actually you know what they're from charlotte russe yep these are from charlotte russe and then these boots i got these so long ago they're actually really cute um you can see them a little bit closer here they're kind of like they're wedges they're like wedge kind of snow boots they're super cute i got them years ago like legitimately probably seven years ago i think i got them maybe even longer i got them probably when i was like a sophomore in high school i specifically remember because it was when i like first started like going out and i thought they were so cute to start going out in i probably only wore them like one time so now i'm getting my use out of them but i think they're so cute ignore those papers in the background but yeah and then this um little butterfly necklace which i think is so pretty i just have little diamonds on just a casual outfit i tuck this in um just casual but still warm i have a really big a uh, brown teddy bear jacket that i'm going to be wearing which i can also show you guys so this is the jacket i'm going to bring it is such a nice warm jacket i got this from um shein the website and it was only like 30 dollars or so i've had it for over a year and it's still held up very nice i wash it um and then i just let it air dry don't wash don't um dry it because this will become all like matted almost so yeah but this is really really cute i love this jacket it's great for the winter it goes completely down it's good for like going out because it's still cute um but it doesn't like ugly up your outfit i wore this when i went to ireland and poland um a few months ago the entire time because we went in winter and i just had this on with a sweater underneath and a scarf and i was good out all day so it's really really useful and also cute for like going out to dinner just nice so with that, um, we are going to get going. I think my aunt and my cousin are getting their Uber right now. Whoa. I think my aunt and my cousin are on their way here now. Uh, we're, they're going to come here because we live closer to the city than they do. And then we're going to Uber from here and go there. Um, we don't really know how parking is going to be. It is in the city. So we're just going to Uber down. And again, it's not really far from my house. So it'll be a nice short Uber ride. And yeah. With that, we're gonna get going. I can't wait to show you guys all the food. I will show you guys 
um, just kind of the layout of everything, show you the menu, what we get, and then after I'll tell you guys what we all thought of it. So thank you guys for watching this far into the video, and with that, let's go to the restaurant. I am hungry and I'm ready for some wine. Non più trai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Delle belle torbando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più frai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non ti drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle torbando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Delle belle torbando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Fra guerrieri può far bacco, Gran bustacchi stretto sacco, schioppo in spalla, sciabla a fianco, collo dritto, muso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di bombarde, di cannoni, che le barre tutti i toni, all'orecchio fan fischiar, non più vrai, quei penachi, non più vrai, Quel cappello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante. Non più vrai, farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle tornando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Delle belle tornando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar. Che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar. Alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar. Are you cold? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we are finally back. I am so beyond tired. It's pretty late now. We stayed for a while. We were all just kind of drinking and you know, it was the first night in the kitchen, so they were kind of behind. I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out Chicala at the DL. It is in Center City, Philadelphia. If you guys are looking for real authentic Italian food, that is your place to go. It is so beautiful inside there. Even just like the main like kind of lobby area of the Divine Lorraine is so beautiful. And then inside the Chicala, it is so pretty. Joe makes such great food. You guys will really love it. As you guys could tell from all the little clips I got from my family, we all really enjoyed all of our meals and it's really, really a good spot if you are looking for authentic Italian food, if you guys have like a mom or a grandmom or even just you, like authentic Italian food, 
definitely check out this place bring your family go yourself you guys will really love it and again like i said in the beginning of the vlog i will leave all of their links below if you guys want to do one of their cooking classes or if you possibly want to go on a trip with them in the future i will leave all those links below so i hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog i am so tired so thank god i'm finally home i am going to finally take off my makeup and get in bed i have to wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m for work like every day so finally i'm gonna get to bed but i hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>